If elected, what would you do to help continue to promote job growth and grow Florida's economy? Well, I would say the most important thing we can do is to continue to strengthen and preserve the current uh, tax and spend and regulatory environment that we have worked so hard to put in place over the last 15, 20 years that has made Florida such an engine of uh, economic opportunity that so many people want to come here from somewhere else. And then I would say in addition to that, we need to work to diversify uh, our current three-legged economic stool uh, with um, growth in the manufacturing sector, aerospace, commercial space, uh, IT, and uh, biosciences, life sciences. How would you improve Florida's health care situation? Well, I think we need to focus on uh, innovative uh, private market-based solutions that uh, expand access and coverage and improve uh, health care outcomes and uh, at the same time uh, effectively contain cost growth. What challenges do you see in Florida's K-12 education system? And if elected, what would you do to address those challenges? Well, I think we are dealing with um, a shortage of workforce-ready talent. And we need to do those things that we can to improve the K-20 educational menu, such as uh, strengthening the schools of hope, working to expand vocational and technical opportunities, uh, dual enrollment with our uh, state colleges uh, for high school students, and just uh, do those things that we can do to put in place a pipeline of talent uh, as, uh, as we do hopefully grow our economy in those other industries.